Yo peeps, what I go and big up on the cell, people. <laughs> when I go wonder, what I go on, I'm doing over the Ananda Dean video, guys. Um, I got some feedback about the video as it relates to the narration that I did and the video of me showing my morning routine. And I agree with some of the comments about the video distracting from the narration itself. And really and truly, I don't want to distract from the Ananda Dean story at all. Some people say, boy, Mr. Watson, you're too sexy, I can't even focus on the video right now because, you know, <laughs> my sexiness just have them going. <laughs> I'm just joking, guys. Uh, but yeah, I decided to kind of uh, do the video over uh, and, and make sure that a full focus is given to the story. Also, guys, I have remastered the rap song. Nanda, Nanda, we sing your name. Your story is now a system, but it ain't the same. So it sound better, right? So you, you guys can wait until the end of the video to listen to the rap music. I will probably people must say, I said, boy, I mean, if I know, say, Watson, a rap artist. <laughs> no, I'm not a rap artist. I don't want to be an artist. I don't want to to get into the music industry or anything like that guys i just did this song for the story right i thought it would be interesting to do the song for the story all right guys so the story that i did was the story of ananda dean back in 2008 guys this story had rocked the little community of belvedere um there in St. Andrew, Kingston St. Andrew, and the entire Jamaica at the end of the day. When you look at the, what happened to young Ananda Dean, just 11 years old, guys, um, her life was snuffed away from her by a criminal, somebody who had no heart. So, all right, people, let's get right into the story of Ananda Dean. Now picture the serene streets of Belvedere, located in Red Hill, St. Andrew. All of that peace shattered when an unbearable stench led to a horrific find on Cypress Drive. Ananda was a promising student at Swallowfield All Age School, or it, I think it's called Swallowfield Primary and Junior High No, right? She disappeared nearly two weeks prior to this grim discovery, prompting a frantic search throughout the Kingston area. Of course, her family, you know, engage all the community members. They put up posters on light post buildings, uh, motor vehicles, and everywhere that they could find throughout the Kingston area. Now, the ominous odor led the locals in the community to a nearby bush where they found a decomposed body resembling Ananda. Now, <laughs> I, I can imagine how devastating this must have been because these people from the community, these community members had been smelling this odor for more than two weeks. Now, when they found the body, the clues at the scene uh, were a black school shoe and a navy blue school uniform and uh, when they saw this of course it appeared to confirm the worst the devastating news rippled throughout the community uh, leaving ananda's family and neighbors engulfed in grief and disbelief but this was only the beginning investigators who came on the scene when they saw the body the body was headless it was in an advanced decomposed um, state and so they immediately told the family that listen we're going to need to do dna tests to confirm that this is actually ananda dean but there was no doubt in the in the, in the minds of the family members and the community that this was indeed ananda dean now, as investigators dug deeper, they wondered what else 
might be lurking in the shadows of Belvedere. Now, let's rewind to the days before Ananda went missing. She lived with her aunt, Tamika Campbell, in Grand Spain, St. Andrew. Her daily life was simple, like every other child in Jamaica. Go to school, taking the bus every day, and return home. Now, she was last seen heading to Halfway Tree on a bus. Obviously, she was going to school. Now, of course, at the end of the day, when night fell and she had not returned home, panic set in. Her family were like, where is Ananda? Now, her school books were later found in Pembroke Hall when they started to search the area, of course, miles from um, her last known location. Her father, Richard Dean, told the Jamaica Star that finding the books gave him a, a glimmer of hope that, you know, she may be okay. Now, the tragedy sparked a massive community effort, as I said before, and everyone from friends and family to complete strangers rallied to find Ananda. And this is what I love about Jamaica. Um, Jamaicans are really loving people. We, we're, we have some of the best people there in, in Jamaica. And, you know, when you have situations like these, to see people just rally around and get together and start helping out. You know, it, it was just um, a united community at this time. Now, Ananda's friendly nature, of course, made her loved by many, right? But even those who didn't know her were moved to join the search. Uh, the Jamaica Glean at one point described Ananda as a little girl with a heart of gold. She was just loving and sweet, just a wonderful little girl, right? Now, unfortunately though, during this entire ordeal, with the family mourning, and this little girl missing, uh, and, and for, for weeks they've been searching, right? They have some people. You kind of see the dark side of humanity in some of these situations, right? Because some people saw this as an opportunity to exploit the family. They offered fake leads and uh, giving false information and demanding money to give the information. Can you imagine? Adding to the frustration was the police's 24-hour waiting policy before officially declaring someone missing. In cases like this, guys, every second counts. And this is something that I could never understand back then. Why would you want to wait 24 hours? We all know that the longer you wait is the less likely that you'll find the person, find this child. Now, with a community desperate for answers, of course, and a sluggish response from law enforcement authorities and scam artists in the mix, the search for the truth was filled with challenges. Um, despite this atmosphere of desperation and fear, another unsettling uh, discovery was made uh, soon after. Fresh school books, potentially Ananda's, were found abandoned on Pembroke Hall Avenue, not very far from where the other books were found. However, as days stretched into a week, hope dwindled. Because although they found these books, there were no leads. There were nothing linking um, Ananda's DNA um, or, or anything to, to our disappearance, to the books, to what could have taken place. The police had no clue. That was until that grim discovery on September 25th, 2008, which brought a devastating end to the search. Yes, the body that was found, headless body. Now, amid a crowd of onlookers, Ananda's family faced the reality of the situation. Shortly after the DNA test would confirm what 
the familiar clothing already seemed to indicate the family knew this before they even got the DNA results. Now, further investigations also reveal signs of sexual assault. This intensifies the urgency to identify the perpetrator and to seek some kind of justice. In the aftermath, guys, the community was weighed down by this guilt and what ifs, especially because <laughs> there it was that they smelled this odor for weeks and it didn't click that this was Ananda's um, body. So the community was, was grieving over this, of course. They couldn't believe it. I mean, that com com compounded with delays in confirming the, 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 the body's identity certainly made the grieving process even more agonizing for Ananda's family and for the people in the community who really cared. But the tragedy in my mind had wider implications, guys. It highlighted the grim fact that over 50 children had met a similar fate in Jamaica that year. As a matter of fact, Ananda's story morphed into a rallying cry for the community to take action and protect their most vulnerable. People began to speculate wildly during this period also because at one point, there were persons who were making threat against the students and members of the Pembroke, um, Pembroke Hall High School. And that's because the school books were found close to that high school. And many people speculate that the murderer or the person who committed this crime against young Ananda must have attended that school or have something to do with that school. So they made threats against the school. It was a community on edge, obviously, struggling for answers and closure for this little 11-year-old girl. The police urged restraint, right? Especially after the unsettling revelation that a police officer was involved in another attempted abduction just a few days after. Uh, Jamaicans are known for jungle justice and so the police officers had to come in and say listen there's no evidence here we have no evidence linking members of um, Pembroke uh, Hall High School to the, the disappearance and killing of Ananda or, or the murder of Ananda because they had found her by that time right no of course, trust was fractured and chaos loomed. People were even saying, oh, I wonder if the police have something to do with this, right? And they were trying to cover it up. The society also were really um, angry to the point they were like, we need, we need to see you know, people being hung. We need capital punishment to be brought back in. Um, I, you know, people were just going off their knockers. They were just, they, they, they wanted justice, right? There were, people were filled with rage. They wanted greater penalties for people who committed crimes against children. They wanted decisive action. Now, Tensions escalate when another young girl is abducted. Can you imagine Ananda Dean being abducted and killed? Then a police officer very shortly after was implicated in the attempted abduction of another girl. And then here it is now that another young girl is abducted. Right? So at one point they were mentioning uh, I think it's a raper gang. They were saying, yeah, maybe this is being done by a raper gang, a, a group of, of, of people who go around and rape and kill 
children. This, of course, only fuels the collective fear. Ananda's story is not an isolated incident. It's symptomatic of broader issues. The need for urgent, targeted measures to protect children skyrockets. Out of this darkness, though, comes a glimmer of hope. The Ananda Alert, named to honor Ananda. It seeks to turn her tragic end into a lasting legacy, drawing inspirations from America's Amber Alert. It's a proactive way to tackle the problem head on. Ananda's funeral was more than just a farewell. It was a painful blend of lost innocence and harsh reality. But even amid sorrow, the Ananda Alert took shape, leveraging technology and community to swiftly share information about missing kids and thereby boosting the odds of their safe return. Like its US counterpart, the Amber Alert, the Ananda Alert stands as a living tribute to a young victim. Both initiatives demonstrate how communities can convert their grief into constructive action, turning tragic stories into beacons of hope. The tale unfolds against a grim backdrop Jamaica's recurring nightmares of missing and murdered children, a staggering count of over 1,600 child murders from 2001 to 2013, and thousands more missing reports. It's sobering. But the government, I don't believe, is standing idle. Uh, they have put up electronic billboards that spin missing children, right? And I believe that this was and is a bold step in the right direction, confronting the issue. Also, gone are the days of waiting 24 hours to report a missing child. New guidelines from Jamaican authorities stress immediate action fostering a climate of proactive engagement. Now guys, uh, before I wrap up, I just want to say this. The story darkens further with the shocking murder of Ananda's sister, Shanice Dean, at a funeral service in 2022. Imagine she was at a funeral and she was killed. There, uh, somebody came to the, uh, men came to the funeral, shoot up, the funeral and, and um, Shanice Dean was among the persons who were shot. She succumbed to her injuries. Now this repeated loss amplifies the cry for collective action guys. Spotlighting the need to protect those most at risk. The overarching message is clear. Vigilance community involvement and systematic reforms are vital to averting similar tragedies. This isn't just a call to arms. It's a wake up call for everyone. In hindsight, Ananda's case leaves us pondering what might have been. Delayed police response remains a subject of debate we still have circumstances of delayed police response in Jamaica, and I'm sure the JCF is actively working on that, right? Timely action is especially critical when children are involved. Could clues have been missed, guys? The murderer may well have known the area, given the crime scene locations, and the way Ananda's body was hidden. I think engaging locals in awareness campaigns could make all the difference. Guys, when I think of this case, the perpetrator could have been from the community. The perpetrator probably knew the terrain very well, knew the community very well. The perpetrator could have been somebody who was among the search party searching for Ananda Dean and even directing persons from the crime scene 
or directing persons away from the body. All these possibilities need to be considered. This person may have been a person who fantasized about doing this to a young girl. This person could have been watching Ananda Dean for a while. I think it was important for the community to be more observant of the persons around them. There must have been some kind of unusual behavior coming from somebody from, from the community. Now guys, as we reflect on Ananda Dean's case, it remains a haunting reminder of the challenges facing Jamaican society. The echoes of past pain push us towards a more urgent quest for justice and change. Now, though this case is over 15 years old, guys, I want to say this, the perpetrator could still be at large. Whether they're still in Jamaica or they've migrated, the perpetrator could still be out there. And somebody may know something. If you have any tips, guys, please email me, no matter how insignificant it may seem. If you have any tips at all, email me at thenoblecop at gmail.com. Your identity will be kept confidential. As an ex-police officer, my success was always dependent on the information that I get from my fellow citizens and I have never ever revealed the source of my information. Um, my priority was always to protect people. Right? Guys, together, we can tip the scales towards justice. Let's unite against the darkness plaguing our communities, this crime monster. We can do it. We can do it. Ananda Dean Killer may still be at large. I, am, I await information i will relate this information to the relevant authorities guys we need justice for ananda dean guys as per usual thank you for taking the time out to watch this video and of course i'm sorry that i had to upload this video over again but as you know as i said before i just felt like it was important to do this video over so that focus can be placed on Ananda Dean's story. Guys, I have also uploaded, as I said before, when I started this um, video, that I've uploaded a remastered version of my rap song, right? Um, so take a listen, guys. After I wrap up here, you can take a listen. Now, as we look ahead, guys, let's vote to carry the lessons of Ananda Dean's story into a future where safety and justice prevails. Guys, remember, if you have not yet subscribed, click on that subscription button right now and also click on the notification bell so that you will be alerted every time I upload a new video. All right, guys, um, until next time, walk good. You understand? Yeah, man, here's the rap song, guys. Big up. Many fantasies are being transformed Yo. into reality <laughs> by modern science. Listen up. I got a tale to tell about Ananda. We miss her well. Disappeared one day, school books left behind. Families searching, no peace they could find. Ananda, Ananda, we sing your name. Your story's now a system, but it ain't the same. In Belvedere Hills, your memory's alive. Your dad's fighting on, so others survive. Two weeks of anguish, then sappers drive Uniform and shoes, but you didn't survive Family's torn, mom and aunt in tears Decades pass by, but it don't clear fears Ananda alert, yeah, it's here to stay Helping other kids not to stray away But daddy is saying, more needs to be done For Ananda, and for every daughter and son 
Ananda, Ananda, we sing your name Your story's now a system but it ain't the same In Belvedere Hills, your memory's alive Your dad's fighting on so others survive Yeah, hey yo, uh-huh We're talking about Ananda Dean A story 15 years old but it's still in the scene If you know something, don't keep it on the low Email the noblecop at gmail.com and that's confidential, yo. This ain't just history, it's a call for justice, a chance for change in a world that needs to trust us, yo. Yeah. So remember her name, let it echo loud for Ananda and for the missing crowd. Her story is a call to stand up and say, we won't let another child slip away, yeah. Ananda, Ananda, we sing your name Your story's now a system but it ain't the same In Belvedere Hills, your memory's alive Your dad's fighting on so others survive Yeah <laughs> Yeah Ananda That's her story So remember her name, let it echo loud For Ananda and for the missing crowd Her story's a call Stand up and say, we won't let another child slip away. We won't let another child slip away. Yeah. This is the story of Ananda. Yeah. Big up on herself. Peace out. Yeah.